meditation, heartfulness or mental health. If these are the words that you keep searching about on internet, then this place that we are visiting might be helpful for you. Well, no points in guessing because you have already seen the thumbnail and the title, so you know where we are going. This vlog is about how we stayed and spent our day at Kana Shantivanam, located near Chegur village in Rangaredi district. Welcome back guys. It's 13th April, Saturday and time is 10.30 am in the morning. And we are off to this place called Kana Shantivanam, which is almost 50 kilometers from where we stay in Hyderabad. The weather was cloudy with some drizzle when we started, but became sunny once we reached. The traffic wasn't that bad either and we reached in almost 1 hour 15-20 minutes. Once we entered the premises, the security guard stopped to give some instructions. Stay here. Second left. Second right. Second right. Limit 20 or 20 feet? No. 20 feet? No. You said it first. Go ahead. So guys, two rules you need to follow while driving. No honking plus speed limit should be 20 km per hour. Which is quite slow but I guess you get used to it. Few things that you realize instantly while riding is the scale of this place. It's like a city in itself, with over 1400 acres of space. The greenery, they have lakhs of trees planted around, and the sound of silence. Since we did an advance booking for a 1 BHK apartment, we went directly to the reception at Madhuvanam Apartments. We paid the advance, gave our IDs, and someone escorted us to our apartment. Let us show you our apartment now. The apartment was clean and has all the basic requirements. Bed, AC, one in the hall, one in the room, electric kettle and stove, which we hardly used, five liter can of water, fridge, bed sheets, towels, geyser, shower, and a clean washroom. So the amount we paid for a one day stay was 3,300 rupees approx. Prices might fluctuate. Check the website link that we have shared for bookings. Once we settled, we went for lunch as it was almost 1.30 p.m. The cafeteria was huge and there were a lot of options one can explore but only vegetarian food. So all you need to do is decide what you want to have, go to the counter, pay and get a coupon and then use that coupon in exchange for the food. We tried one of the basic thalis where you get rice, dal, roti, papar, which is for 170 rupees and a Bombay sandwich that is for 80 rupees. The food was decent enough. After the lunch, went to check out the bookstore where you can find various books regarding heartfulness, meditation, biographies and autobiographies of famous people. Not only books, there were a variety of cotton clothes, notebooks, jute bags and so many other options to choose from. After the bookstore, drove around a bit to check out the premises and went to the apartment to take a nap and decided to come back in the evening fresh. Well, after a short nap, we came back around 4pm and took some videos. Let me tell you, this place has so many trees and planted in such a way that wherever you go, you are bound to get some great looking videos and pictures. Went to check out the library, where you can sit in silence and read. After strolling around for a while, we sat down to have a cup of tea and coffee. Made a friend and sat for a while. Before we show you the meditation hall, we went to take a walk at the very famous Yatra Garden. 
is a series of beautiful gardens that have been designed in a form of a journey. This journey, the Yatra, represents the spiritual journey through the chakras of energy in the human system. Everywhere you will find benches and sitting area so that you can contemplate, meditate, read and absorb the various conditions of each stage on the journey. We would highly recommend to spend at least half an hour in the Yatra Garden. After 20-30 minutes of strolling at the Yatra Garden, we came to the meditation hall. Every day in the morning, 6 a.m. and evening, 6 p.m., people gather to meditate under one roof, which can accommodate thousands of people together. So we sat here in silence for almost 30 to 40 minutes. As we were taking videos since morning, we decided to switch off the camera for a while, had an early dinner and just sat under trees for a few hours before we called it a day. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning guys. It's Sunday and the time is 6.45 a.m. in the morning. Had a shower and came out. So our checkout time is 11 a.m. And we missed out few things yesterday that we will try to cover today. But before that, we decided to go to the meditation hall again and meditate for 20 minutes. After that, we took a walk back to the cafeteria where we sat and had a cup of tea. Breakfast we decided to do at the dining hall where you can have a simple meal absolutely free. The dining hall is so huge as it can accommodate thousands of people at one go. After we were done with the meal, one has to clean their utensil and give it back. So before we left, we checked out the wellness center where you can book a massage and relax. But before taking a massage, a doctor's consultation is mandatory. Saw Gopichan Badminton Academy as well, but it was closed on Sunday and no cameras were allowed inside. Checked out the pottery studio where you can buy some clay pots and mugs. They have some really good collection. And before we called it a day, checked out this amazing statue of Babuji's Maharaj. The camera is not doing justice to the scale of this statue. Went to the apartment bagged our bags, dropped the keys at the reception and called it a day. It was indeed a great experience staying here for a day and exploring. We would highly recommend if you are looking for a peaceful weekend option. Apart from renting an apartment, there are various options from a four-star hotel to a dormitory. Check the link in description for the prices. We really hope you liked our vlog. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.